This lesson will show how to graph a function with a domain restriction using desmos.com. For number one, we have f of x equals negative one half times the absolute value of the quantity x minus three plus four when x is greater than or equal to negative five and less than or equal to 11. To begin, go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. We enter the function in cell one. We can use y or f of x. I will use f of x. We have f of x equals negative one divided by two, tab or right arrow. For absolute value, we enter abs or go to the Desmos keypad by clicking the show keypad button and the absolute value button is here. And we enter x minus three, either tab or right arrow and then plus four. Right now we have the graph of the function over its entire domain, which is all real numbers, without the restriction. If we close the Desmos keypad, we can adjust the window using the zoom in or zoom out buttons, as well as click on the wrench and adjust the axes manually toward the bottom. Let's close this menu and click the zoom out button. We can also reposition the graph by clicking, holding, and dragging the coordinate plane. Now let's talk about the restriction. We want the graph over the closed interval from negative five to 11. If we analyze the graph, notice how the x-intercepts are negative five comma zero and 11 comma zero, which means with the restriction, we only want the graph that's either on or above the x-axis, not where the graph is below the x-axis. To make the restriction, we click to the right of the function, and then we use curly brackets or squiggly brackets, which if we go back to the Desmos keypad and then click the ABC button, they're in the middle at the bottom here. And then we enter the compound inequality, which is negative five. If we go back to the number keypad, here we have less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 11. And notice now we only have the graph over the closed interval from negative five to 11. Let's close the Desmos keypad and let's also zoom in. Now there's one more thing that we should do. Normally we should identify the endpoints as closed points if the points are included on the graph or open points if the endpoints are not on the graph. And because x is greater than or equal to negative five and less than or equal to 11, because of the equal part, the endpoints are included and should be plotted as closed points. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's click in cell two, open parenthesis, negative five comma zero. By default, the point is closed, but let's change the color by clicking and holding on the blue circle and selecting red. Click outside this menu, click in cell three, and the other endpoint is open parenthesis 11 comma zero. The close parenthesis is optional. Click and hold on the green circle on the left and change the color to red. Now we have a very nice graph of the function with the domain restriction. There are several options for sharing this graph. If we click the share graph in the upper right hand corner, you're able to share the URL, print, export the image, as well as embed the image. Announce graph our second function, which is g of x equals 1 fourth times the quantity x plus two squared minus five when x is greater than negative two. Notice here x equals negative two is not in the restriction, but this graph will have an open point as one endpoint. Going back to Desmos, let's go ahead and just delete cell one through cell three. And now we'll enter g of x equals one divided by four tab, open parenthesis, x plus two, close parenthesis. For the exponent of two from a standard keyboard, press shift six and then two, or using the Desmos keypad, we enter the exponent of two by clicking the a squared button. And then we have minus five. Let's close the Desmos keypad. Let's zoom out, and now we have a nice graph of g of x over the domain of all reals, but we only want the graph when x is greater than negative two. Click to the right of g of x, enter curly brackets, 
enter the inequality x greater than negative 2. And if we click in cell 2 and close the Desmos keypad, we have a nice graph of the function over the restricted domain. But again here, x is greater than negative 2, not equal to negative 2. So at the point negative 2 comma negative 5, this endpoint, is not on the graph, and therefore we should plot an open point at that location. So we click in cell 2, open parenthesis, negative 2 comma negative 5, close parenthesis. Let's change the color and the style. Click and hold on the black circle, open point, purple, click outside the menu, and now we have a very nice graph of g of x with the restricted domain. I hope you found this helpful.